All right guys, in today's video, I'm gonna do a review on the Inline Fabrication Skylight LED mount from my lead Loadmaster, which allows you to shine light down onto your shell plate. All right guys, so the Skylight LED kit um, has a light pod and I'll take out some close shots for you guys so you can see it a little bit better but it's a little light pod that uh, goes through the top this is the turret for my lead loadmaster goes through the top of this hole right here and then we'll shine light down onto my shell plate so I can see my charges uh, things like that um, so one thing to note is that these turrets do have solid uh, piece of metal in here it's not too thick but uh, you will have to drill that out if you want to use the, the light pod if you don't want to drill through your turret Inline Fabrication does have a, uh, a light kit that doesn't have the light pod. Um, it has just some LED strips that you can put in there instead. So the light pod has a pure bright white LED. Um, it has a lifespan of about 75,000 hours. Um, it can be easily switched between tool heads like you saw um, when I just showed you that turret. It just drops in and uh, you, can, you can pop it out, put on a new turret if you switch calibers, things like that. Um, just to show you guys kind of what the light looks like. Um, I don't know how exactly we'll, we'll portray it, but you can see it's a little bright white light, which will be pretty bright just, you know, that far from the, the turret to the shell plate. So that um, works well. And then just while I have this here, it also does come with, the kit does come with an LED strip. It's four inches long with six LEDs. And same thing, kind of a bright white light. No heat is created by these lights, um, which is nice, you don't have to worry about that. The power cord that it comes with is about 48 inches in length and it does have a switch uh, built in so you can turn it on and off, you don't have to unplug if you don't want to, which is kind of nice. And then it does come with um, a, power, a power plug splitter so you can plug both of these in, the light strip and the pod, into the power supply. And then it does also come with four uh, wire mounts that just have uh, some, some double sided tape on there. So you can route the cable around your press, down the, the support arm of the press, things like that. Um, and then it also does come with um, a maroon Scotch-Brite pad and a, an alcohol pad, so you can better prepare the surface for these anchors with the with double-sided tape. You can clean it, clean the surface, and then score it up a little bit with the, with the pad, um, just so it sticks a little better. And then, of course, it comes with the instructions. All right, guys, so now we're going to drill this center piece out right there um, so that the pod can fit in there. And see, so it'll come in, drops right there, and it'll light everything up. On the skylight page under the question section for the Lee Load Master Skylight, um, Dan had responded to someone's question about what size drill bit to use, and he said half inch. So I've got a uh, half inch drill bit here. Um, that will I'll try to get in the center as much as possible and uh, see how well it works. So I've got my eyes on, eye protection, just in case anything kicks up and uh, see how it goes. Okay, so what I did is I started a hole, a little divot with this three quarter inch uh, bit here, just because it has that point and uh, was able to, to stay centered better um, in this one. So now that I have kind of a, a, a starting point in there, I'll use this to finish it off. And just to note, <clears throat> I do have just a shirt underneath my turret to catch any of the shavings so it doesn't get into, the, into my ram and everything like that. Okay, so you can see we've got quite a bit of shavings here, so I'm going to throw away the shavings. All right, so that's kind of the hole I made. It's not pretty at all. Um, let's see how well it works though. As you can see, it's illuminating down here pretty well. Take it out. Put it in there. So let's take this whole thing out. This is kind of what it looks like in there. All right, so what I'm doing is I'm shining the light through the phone 
through my camera on my phone to show you guys that the LEDs are perfectly centered in the hole. Well, not maybe not perfectly, but they're centered in the hole, even though the hole isn't pretty and it's not quite center. The pod lights do appear to go to shine through just fine. And then see, see it's, it goes in, that's bottoming out, and then I can just pull it out nice and easy and switch turret heads. So it's a great little accessory to illuminate your reloading press. And then I'm just gonna do it in my other, a few other turrets that I have, just so I can easily switch between them. See, it'll fit perfectly in there with all my dies. Doesn't get in the way, works great. So as you can see, you guys could even go a little bit bigger. Um, you could probably even do the, this is about three quarter inches in diameter, I think, this hole um, in the turret. You could probably even do three quarters and this lip would hit this and would probably still not go past this part right here, this opening. So it should get in the way of the ram or anything, the shell plate. I might do that later, I don't know, but for now, I think I'll just keep it as it is. Um, I might open it up a little bit later. Screw it. Let's do a three quarter inch one. See what it does. I realized I probably could have used this the whole time instead of just using it as a starting bit, but um, I just felt better using those titanium bits instead. But I'm gonna try this and see how well it works. Alright, so that's what it kind of looks like now. You can see that there, the more the black, that's the, the pod. Um, it does give the, the LED a little more clearing. I don't know, I think it'll work either way really well, so it's up to you guys what you want to do. But you have, you have some options on how you want to do that. So see you guys now, I can see into there a lot better. And uh, I can see my powder charge, see if it looks normal or not, if it looks good. You know, if it's a little low, lower than normal, I can see, hey, there's not, not enough powder in there. Or I can easily see, whoa, there's way too much in there. And then restart. This probably won't be as useful with bottleneck cases like a 6.5 Creedmoor, because, as you can see, because it's so long and narrow near the, the mouth, um, this is probably more useful for straight walled cases, you know, um, pistol caliber cases, 9mm, 40, um, things like that. So, um, but it can still be used with some rifle. It at least helps you just illuminate. So if you need to, if you need to adjust um, where you're looking to see down to the neck case, the bottle neck case, it'll still help. It's just, it, it doesn't make it so you can just see everything at it an easy glance. And I don't think any light's really gonna help that unless you can get a light perfectly centered and your eyes also perfectly centered into the mouth of the case. But like 300 blackout, I mean, it's it's open enough to where I was able to see a charge, a decent charge. So at least I'll be able to see if it's, if I accidentally overcharge it somehow, if I got a little more powder in there or something like that. It's nice, it still illuminates everything and, and stays out of the way. So um, just so you guys know, I do have an LED strip they already had installed right here before I got this kit. And so I also have the extra, well, the, the one that came with the, the inline fabrication kit. So here's what it would look like with kind of both lights on. It helps a little bit, but it's not like amazing. So I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. I think the pod illuminates by itself pretty well. So I may just stick with that for now. I'm gonna kind of experiment, see what I like better. Um, but yeah, so that's my setup right now. Everything clears there, so um, we'll see. But I think the the pod was the, the main part that I wanted to get done um, to show you guys and try out. So I'm going to be doing some reloading here soon, and uh, I'll do kind of a more in-depth review on the actual usage of the two-bin uh, bullet tray arm and the pod so we can kind of see it more in action as I'm working. I just haven't done any reloading in a while, so we'll see how things go. But I'll show you guys that when I get to it. All right, guys, I hope that helped you out. I hope it was a product that maybe you haven't seen before, didn't know a lot about, and you kind of got more of a closer view on it. Um, and maybe it's something you like. Maybe you want to try it out if you do. 
Uh, order from Dan with confidence. He, he makes great stuff. Lifetime warranty. If anything breaks on it, something goes wrong, he'll take care of you. Just give him a call, send him an email, whatever, um, and uh, he'll get you all squared away. He's a great guy, great products. Um, his, uh, one of his products was actually one of my very first videos that I did, which was the installation um, of the inline fabrication flush mount for his quick change system. That's my, one of my most popular videos. Uh, it, was, it was my very first official video. Um, and Dan was kind enough to send me a couple more things to review. Um, so thank you, Dan. Um, you make great stuff. So here in the near future, I will do a video of me doing my, going through my reloading process. And that will include usage and kind of a more real-time uh, in-depth review of the universal uh, dual bin bullet tray system, as well as the skylight. Um, for the for the press and I'll put a video to the the universal dual tray bullet system uh, the bullet arm um, and a video up here so check that out if you want to see more about that it was kind of more of just a, an overview and installation I didn't really use it a lot because I haven't done reloading in a while I need to start doing it again got some 6.5 Creed Morris and 3 to black ass and 223 load I, I'm gonna start doing that again soon now that I have a little more time so you'll see those uh, more in action later um, if you guys like the video if you're new here um, you want to see more content hit that subscribe button in the description below, I'll put links to Inline Fabrication, as well as Revolutionary Patriot, um, and my social media pages if you want to check those out. If you guys have any questions, please let me know, and I will respond and do my best to answer it. And uh, as always, keep shooting.